friends welcome to code crash coding in this video we are going to learn how to find the largest number if you have provided with three different numbers in java and you need to find the largest number among them so let's say here we have a class called the largest num inside the main method we have three variables num1 num2 and num3 so num1 is having the value 10 num2 is having the value 20 and num3 is having the value 15 so we need to identify which is the largest number among them so how to check so the basic thing we can do is with the help of if else condition so what we can do we will compare this num1 with num2 and num3 and if it is greater th then it it is the largest number right another thing we can do we need to check this number 2 with number 1 and number 3 and if it is greater in both the cases the number 2 is greatest and another thing will be the remaining number if these two are small then remaining number will be greater which will be the number 3 now let's see how we can write the code for this so we will say here if condition statement if we will say if num1 is greater than equal to num2 so th this will only check with num2 right and we need to check with num3 as well so we will say here and so this stands for and and we will say here num1 is also greater than equal to num3 num3 so this condition will be true if both these conditions will be true right if num1 is greater than equal to num2 and num1 is greater than equal to num3 if num1 is greater than both this num2 and num3 then we will print the message sys out we will say here num1 is largest because we have checked the condition with both the remaining numbers and if it is greater than so we will say num1 is greatest another condition we need to check with num2 so we will say here else if and we'll provide the condition if now we will check with num2 if num2 is greater than equal to num1 and also so we will say here and num2 should also be greater than equal to num3 if both these conditions are true then we will print the message sys out we will say here num2 is largest right num2 is largest and if both this condition fails then inside the else we don't need to provide the condition because if both these number are smaller then obviously the number 3 will be greater right so we will directly print here the message is out num3 is largest num3 is largest i hope you understood the conditions here now let's run this code we are getting the message num2 is largest so let's understand what is happening here so we know num1 is 10 so 10 is greater than 20 so this condition is false right now let's check the second condition so 10 is greater than 15 no so both these conditions are false so it will not go inside this if loop sorry if condition now it will check the second condition else if so num2 so 20 so 20 is greater than 10 so it will say true now it will check the another condition so num2 20 is greater than 15 so both these conditions are true so it will go inside this condition and it will print num2 is largest now what we will do we will swap the values here now we will make the num1 as largest so let's say we provide here 20 and we provide here 10 so in this case the first condition itself will be true because num1 is 20 now so 20 is greater than 10 and 20 is greater than 15 so this condition will be satisfied here if i run this code so we'll get num1 is largest now let's swap again now we will make the num3 as largest so i will make this as 15 and this as 20 and if i run this code now so we will get num3 is largest so here the first two conditions will become false let's check so 15 is greater than equal to 10 so this is true but 15 is not greater than equal to 20 right so this is false so true and false as this is a and operator it will return false so this will not go inside this if loop if condition now here in else if num2 so 10 is greater than 15 no this, so this, this is false and 10 is also not greater than 20 so both these conditions are false so it will not go inside this else if condition now remaining is else condition so that's why it will say num3 is largest 
so what enhancement you can do here instead of directly providing here the values of num1 num2 num3 you can provide the user input so you will accept the numbers from the user so that you can do on your own using the scanner method you know that we get the numbers from the user another thing we can do instead of providing all these three conditions here we can simplify this code instead of using this if else condition we can make use of ternary operator to check which number is greatest so what is the syntax for ternary operator so ternary operator is having this particular syntax first you need to give the variable name you can provide any variable name then you need to provide a expression and if that particular expression is true then the value 1 will be assigned to this variable and if this expression is false then value 2 will be assigned to this variable remember after expression we have the question mark and then these two values are separated by colon let's understand with the example here let's say you have two variables of type integer so a is having the value 10 b is having the value 15 you will have the variable name as temp and you will provide the expression so let's say expression here is a is less than b so if this expression is true then value of b will be assigned to temp if this expression is false value of a will be assigned to temp so now let's make use of this particular ternary operator instead of making use of if else here so what i will do i will replace or remove this part here now let's make use of ternary operator so what i will do i will have one temporary variable int temp and i will compare now the expression num1 and num2 so let's say i provide here the expression if num1 is greater than num2 okay then i need to give a question mark then i will assign the value of num1 because num1 is largest and num2 here so if this condition is true num1 is greater than num2 so obviously it means num1 is greater so we will assign the value of num1 to this temp okay and if this condition is false then it means num2 is greater so we will assign the value of num2 to this temp now inside the temp we will have the greatest value whichever it is instead means if num1 is greater then we will have the value of num1 here if num2 is greater we will have the value of num2 here and let's print it so you will understand this out we will say a temp now here we have 15 and 10 so num1 is greater than num2 because 15 is greater than 10 so we will get the value of num1 inside the temp if i run this code now so we will get here 15 now if i provide different values let's say i provide here 30 now my num2 is greater right so let's run this code so we are getting here 30 because this condition will be false and we will assign the value of num2 here so temp will always have the largest value between num1 and num2 so as we have the largest value for num1 and num2 we will compare that value with num3 now so what we will do we will have another variable here int largest and we will say if num3 is greater than temp now what we have done inside the temp we have the largest value between the num1 and num2 and now we will compare this value with num3 so if it is greater then we will say then we will say a num3 so we will assign the largest uh, value sorry the variable largest to the num3 otherwise we will say a temp and here we will print the message is out largest value is and then we will print the value of largest here now let's run this code so see here we have provided three values 15 30 20 so largest value we are getting is 30 so we have seen here in the first statement we have the value for temp as 30 now what is happening num3 is 20 so 20 is greater than 30 so this expression is false as this expression is false the second value will be assigned to the largest so what is the value of temp here temp here was 30 so we are getting here 30 if we make this number as largest now let's say we make it 50 now in this case what will happen let's run this code so between num1 and num2 this temp will have the value 30 and num3 is 50 so 50 is greater than 30 right so it will assign the value of num3 to the largest so num3 is having the value of 50 so we are getting a largest value is 50 so in this way instead of making use of 
if and else if statement with the help of these two statement you can identify which is the largest number between the three numbers provided to you with the help of a ternary operator i hope you have understood the expression for ternary operator so that's it in this video we will cover another coding questions in next video thank you for watching Thank <music> you.